my friends. Today, let's talk about the downsides of um, continuous duty solenoid. Specifically, in contrast to the DC to DC charger. And yes, I am drinking Starbucks. If you like the flavor of burnt, I highly recommend it. You know, I use their washroom, um, so I thought, yeah, I'll buy a coffee and a little pick me up. So that's that's why. Otherwise, I don't drink it. Anyway, um, recently um, I was talking to a friend. I'm gonna leave his name out of it. Um, I don't want to. If he wants to say something, I know he watches my videos. He's welcome to, but uh, I'm not going to invoke his name um he told me that the problem with a continuous duty solenoid is that it's not regulated the charge controller a solar charge controller limits the amount of amps going into your battery uh into your house batteries um so if your batteries are full it stops your batteries do not get overcharged it also um, takes into account the temperature um, and other factors such as this. Now, with a solenoid, you're just getting juice pumped into that sucker. The back batteries are getting juiced big time. So if you're going on a five-hour trip and the whole time your, uh, your batteries are uh, just getting full of amps, will it not be overloaded? I'll put that in the form of a question. Will the batteries not get overloaded? I mean, it's just an alternator directly connected to your battery, positive post of your startup battery, which is directly connected to your house battery with a little solenoid in between. So there's no like computer interface. There's nothing regulating the power going into that uh, house battery which may mean that you will shorten the life of your batteries. Now, I've talked to a few other people and they've said that it has been no problem with them. I mean, one guy in my comment section, um, Bob's Adventures or something like that, Bob's Life, life Van Life Adventures, something like that. Uh, I know him quite well, he's a good guy. He has a Ford Transit 2015. He's been driving it for three and a half years with the same solenoid that I have. And um, he said he's driven over 80,000 miles and he's had no problems. He hasn't had to change his batteries. Everything's working fine. So I don't know, food for thought. Let's put it in that context. So um, solenoid may overcharge your batteries and certainly has no uh, other ways of um like there's no computer or anything to kind of resolve any possible issues now the solution to this is something called a dc to dc charger renergy makes one I think they're about 150 bucks i almost went that route except that uh a friend of mine um, on facebook um recommended he he knows quite a bit about this stuff and he recommended to me that I'd not use a DC to DC charger because I hardly ever drive. I drive 400 kilometers a month, about 5,000 kilometers a year, which is not very much. Um, a DC to DC charger requires longer driving times. Um, the good part about a DC to DC charger is it will fully charge your batteries. But the last 10 or 20 percent, um, that's the hard part. Uh, it, it, it will get there, but it'll take a while to get there. A solenoid will never 100 percent fully charge your batteries. Uh, solar will, but a solenoid, a continuous duty solenoid connected off of your alternator will never give you um, all the maximum capacity of your batteries 100 percent. It will give you a lot of amps at once or in a shorter period of time, I should say. And that's why I chose to go with the continuous duty solenoid, 
even though I know about the DC to DC charger because I don't drive very much. So to use a DC to DC charger and you have to take an hour long trip or whatever, I don't know how long you'd have to drive. I read somewhere, could be wrong about this, that they uh, only input 20 amps. I don't know if that's a minute, an hour or what. I don't, I don't have any recollection of that. But uh, continuous duty solenoid will do 60 amps. So that's like triple. Um, so you are putting in less power with a DC to DC charger, but your batteries will be happier if you do the long drives. Now for me, like I said, I don't drive very much. Problem in Vancouver or Pacific Northwest is that it's cloudy a lot. Today we got a little bit of sunshine, which is nice. Um, but a couple weeks ago, or maybe a month ago, that got this whole ball rolling, I thought, okay, let's go back. In the summer, when I put my solar panels on, you know what, I thought, I'm gonna put 600 watts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go overkill on the solar, before I had 150, so I quadrupled it. And I thought, let's see what that does. Maybe I won't have to have a solenoid, maybe 600 watts is so much solar that it will be awesome. Well, guess what? I was wrong. It wouldn't matter if I had a thousand watts of solar. It wouldn't matter if I had 5,000 watts of solar because if it's dark, you ain't getting any amps. <laughs> doesn't matter if it's 5,000 watts of solar or a hundred watts of solar, you're getting zero amps regardless. It's irrelevant. And you know, mid December, it's like gets light around eight o'clock in the morning and by 3.30, it's already getting dark, and there's really dense, dark rain clouds in the sky. If it's not raining, they're very dark clouds. I'm getting very, I'm getting nothing, pretty much, like 0 0.01 amps or something. It's, it's just basically nothing, um, even with 600 watts. So um, what happened was I was hooped. I had no power. I didn't have a uh, solenoid. I basically had to take my Jackery and use that and just run a little uh, one watt LED light and charge my phone. And then um, I brought it into work a couple times to charge it, but I really don't like doing that because I'm trying to stay under the radar at work and I don't want people saying, what do you got there? What's that plugged in over there? So. I don't, I don't like to do that. Now, some people, it doesn't matter. Plug it in. Everything's fine. Nobody cares. Um, anywho, so I was in a power crisis, total power crisis. I had no power. It was dark and rainy. I had no solenoid. And I was living off my jackery, which is doable. It is doable, but it's just not ideal, to say the least. So, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is, if you drive quite a bit, or a fair amount, or average, get the DC to DC charger. It's probably your best bet. It costs a little bit more money, um, but your batteries will probably last longer, question mark. If you don't drive hardly at all, a continuous duty solenoid might be better because you get a larger amount of amps in a shorter period of time. Um, this is kind of unique to the Pacific Northwest Vancouver area because, you know, if you're in Arizona or California, you get the sun all the flipping time. People will make all these claims, oh, I run my fridge off 100 watts and da 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 Yeah, you live in California where the sun is beating on you like 300 days a year. I live where it's raining six months of the year. So different strokes of different folks, uh, all that jazz. So yeah, DC to DC charger is probably the best bet. There is a question whether a solenoid, continuous duty solenoid without any computer interface module, electronic stuff, 
between the alternator and your batteries is going to overload your battery, your house battery. Um, whereas a DC, to G, DC charger is not. So one thing I thought of is, okay, worst case scenario, the solenoid over time shortens the life of my batteries. So what do I do? Do I just buy $600 worth of batteries every couple of years? Uh, I got some good batteries. They're 300 bucks each, 150 amp hours each. Um, so it's quite a bit of heft to them. They're 98 pounds. Alternatively, if the batteries are going to just get destroyed, just buy a Walmart cheapo for 150 bucks. And um, in the summer, you know, you got so much amps coming in from the sun and the, and the solar with the 600 watts. I'm not so worried about it. It's in the winter that matters. And if you're just destroying your batteries anyway, you might as well get a cheapo and and not spend money for nothing. And um, I don't know. So that's an option is just to get another uh, switch up the battery situation. Not sure I would do that, but if it came to came down to it, I would... Uh, consider all those variables anyways guys thanks for watching be well my friends